Well, quilts are not just bedspreads or old-fashioned wall hangings, as you can tell from what you see behind me. There's a new quilting craze in our country, and many people now see this craft as a way to make beautiful pieces of art. Melissa Ralstead is the executive director of the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts, and she is here with more on quilting, sewing, knitting, and a new exhibit in Cedarburg, where you can see great handiwork and even take a class. Yes. Nice to have you. Thank you for having me. I can't <laughs> wait to, to show some of the incredible visual art Art that you brought for us today. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what your current exhibit features because you've got all kinds of fiber arts from all four corners of Wisconsin, right? Yes, it's called the uh, Wisconsin BNL and Wisconsin State of the Art. And the whole idea behind the exhibition was to find out what's being done in fiber art in Wisconsin today. So all of the artists who submitted work are all residents of the state of Wisconsin and it's all original work. So we have the piece behind us, which is called Dragon. Um, Bruce Seeds is the artist. He created all of this out of one piece or one material and just took it apart and put it back together again. Unbelievable. I mean, the detail in this, as we're showing right now, is just exquisite. It's it's gorgeous. Every single piece that we have is beautiful. There are quilts, weavings, uh, knitting, embroidery, all sorts of different types of fiber arts. And the the awards that some of these pieces. Now here we're looking at a, a, another larger uh, a picture of this work. Mm -hmm. This is the one that won that incredible award in Japan, right? No, this this one is not one of the ones that won the okay. award in Japan. That's a okay. different quilt, this, and that's a different exhibit. Okay, <laughs> okay. So this one that we just showed th is behind us was the same one that we saw on the screen. Screen, right. Right. Okay. Let's talk about the um, Bruce Seeds is the person who did the mm -hmm. dragon quilt of Shorewood. Right. Um, you've got artists right here in Wisconsin who are making these world class quilts. Yes. All of the quilts that all actually not just the quilts, all of the fiber art that we have in the current exhibit are all from Wisconsin. Every single one of those artists is here in Wisconsin. So Bruce is from Shorewood. This piece, the students are from, sorry. Thais High School. I'm glad you school. brought that yep. up because the one standing next to you is actually wearable art. Yes, this is wearable art. And what is that? I mean, it's like a dress, It's a dress, right? Nope, that's exactly and what, what it is. And what is it made out of? It is made out of just different types of yarns. So what the artist did, her name um, is Radat Davidson, and she took different types of yarns together and made a piece of wearable art. So a very different kind of dress. For sure it is. I mean, that's something that would definitely wow people at a cocktail party. Oh, yes. So we've seen <laughs> quilts, we've seen wearable art. There's also a beautiful piece that we have a picture of. It's the, it's a beaded, um, embellished um, piece of art mm -hmm. with needlework, right? Yes. It's a bead embellished embroidery. And that piece was made by an artist named Lisa Binkley. She is in Wanakee, which is just north of Madison. So again, trying to pull different things from all sorts of different artists throughout Wisconsin. And we have a hooked rug there too. Yes. It, it almost looks like a cityscape or a scene. That's, that's exactly what it is. It's called Santa Fe Doors. So the whole idea is that she made a a scene from Santa Fe and did it using hooked rug, uh, hooked rug technique. I did the hooked rug when I was a kid. It did not look <laughs> anything like the one that you see right there. Um, you also mentioned the fashion designs, um, which are, mm -hmm. are incredible. Um, it, it, and I think that's the thing is that it kind of spans. I saw some kind of what lo almost looked like metal working too mm -hmm. um, that was incredible. Um, you have a um, artist reception coming up, right? Yes, this Sunday from 1230 to 330. It's an artist reception and open house house. It's complimentary with admission and it's a great chance to meet some of the artists to have a chance to see the work and see the exhibition. The reception itself takes place right in the gallery so you're in this beautiful space surrounded by all these amazing works of art and chance to actually talk to the artists. I think it's just a shame not to visit the museum because it's so close to all of us and it's right here at mm -hmm. home and to have the opportunity to see some of these arts is really incredible. Yep. Um, speaking of events for the whole family too I wanted to highlight one that you have coming up because this is a chance for the whole family to go out and see it because it's a family fun Day. Yes. It's happening on Sunday, August 11th from 12.30 to 3.30. Mm -hmm. It's to celebrate your second birthday, yep. which is super, super fun. You also have an open house for educators that's happening a little bit later in August on Thursday, the 22nd right. from noon to 5. This event is free, but I know you'd like some advanced registration. People can find out more on your website. But this is for teachers, youth group leaders, homeschool parents. You're in, they're invited to visit the museum mm -hmm. and learn more about how they can share this work with kids. Right. It gives 
uh, any educators the chance to find out what the museum has to offer to students. So what types of things might you be able to do in the classroom? What types of things might you be able to do at the museum? And it's not just teachers, it's teachers, youth leaders, if you're a scout leader, 4-H, um, any of those sorts of groups, homeschool groups, it's a great opportunity to come out and find out what the museum has to offer. And also to see some pieces um, that have won awards yes. internationally. This barn is completely <laughs> renovated. It's not your yeah. typical um, horse and um, <laughs> It's not the kind of barn where you'll find horses. It's renovated. Not it's beautiful. <laughs> not anymore. It's incredible to see inside of it. It's located in Cedarburg. And I know you also have a gift shop that sells one of a kind yep. handmade artwork, such as quilts, felted bags, pins, knitted yeah. Christmas stockings. You can check it out anytime. It's the farm campus. And there are lots of great outbuildings, too, mm -hmm. where you do some great classes and things, too. Right. So here's the information so that you can visit the Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts. It's located on Portland Road in Cedarburg. There's a phone number there if you'd like to find out more about the events that we mentioned, or you can visit wiquiltmuseum.com.